Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. We've hired a scholar and now we must make contact with intelligent life. Hopefully they're not stupid. Um, <laughs> terrible joke. Anyway, uh, let's see. I think we have a couple options as far as pursuing intelligent life. I believe they are all, well, Looks like this one's actually not on the outer ring. No, it is. Okay. It, like I said, I, I'm getting out of the the regular hexagon, and it's confusing my brain as to what we've actually like reached. I think these three are actually the only ones not at the outer edges of the hexagon. Because what is this? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So five would be the... L the limit of the hexagon. Five. Yeah. So these three are within. This one is. Somehow we got all the way out here. I'm not 100% sure how we saw those. Because we haven't gone to this planet yet. Maybe I accidentally connected to it? I don't know. Um, But we should do these three. How's our power? 475? So if I connect out this way. Like the spokes of a bike tire. Or any wheel, I suppose. I think it makes the most sense to go to these two and then connect to this one and not even bother shooting through this guy, maybe? We could do two missions. We've got Front Dragon doing pretty good. Yao Tang could use some more experience, but let's get him out there. So Front Dragon, it is. Milkshake, also doing pretty good. Angel Food Cake, not so much. Cause, oh, right, because they have the Scholar on their team. And we're still waiting for Antoine Chevalier to get better anyway. So let's send Milkshake on the other one. And then... Nobody's gone to this one yet? I'm surprised. So you two... Do we have enough people for another team? We have a lot of people. Hmm... We could do another team. It'd be kind of a lower level team overall. And I don't recall what some of the last team names were recommended to me. So we're going to make up my own because <laughs> I didn't pay attention this time. Sorry, I, I, uh, I got a little bit of time to record and I just jumped on. This is going to be Neon Squad. I don't know why I put it all in caps like that. I was feeling very excited. Neon? Do we do we have anybody who's orange? I don't think so. So we're going Neon Squad. And we're going... I kind of like the soldier, soldier medic scientist play. So we go... Cecily. Evelyn. And... Uh, Val Is your name Valerie? It is Valerie, Valerie. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I like this. This is a pretty balanced squad. No engineer, but I think that's fine. And then you two are just kind of mercenaries. Nathan Tremblay. Oh, you're a scholar. Yeah, you're the desk guy. I remember now. Oh, and you're back. Two samples achieved. Uh, the re whole reason I made Neon Squad was to send them out to this one. Let's try it. 14% injury chance. That's not too bad. They do have a medic to like kind of maybe get that under control. Neon squad. I'll have to go back to the, I Usually I go through the comments and I write down what the team name suggestions are. And I forgot to do that this time. The last one I have on my little notepad here is Galaxy Trio from Be Noble. And they've been around for like at least an episode, if not two. I can't remember when I named Galaxy Trio. I'm kind of proud of Galaxy Trio though. They got a cool symbol. I like the red. Front Dragon is also very good. I think that was supposed to be Frontier Dragon. Ooh, new ore sample. Maybe this is Exonium. It must be because it's it's not a an ore we already know. Or maybe it won't be. It could be an ore we already have, maybe. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. They're analyzing it as we speak. And still processing more Astral. So, cool. Right. Things are going well. What, what are we working on? Making contact with alien life. That's right. 
Is Antoine better now? Because we could send him through the gate if he's feeling better. What is this? Unknown? Material? Oh, right. Material was harvested. But that means we can disconnect from that one. And we can connect here. So let's go ahead and create a mission. And we will send Angel Food Cake on that team. We have seven squads going in and out of the gate now. It's a wild time up in here. Does everybody have a bed? We sure we sure do have beds. Great news. We're at 246 science. What should be the next thing that we we research? Because we got our hands on the blast doors. We could improve the shield strength. Turrets are interesting, but it's a lot of science to get turrets. Oh, it's probably got to be alien culture data study, right? And then we can get the console and the data storage. I think that's got to be the next play. So we got to save up 400, was it? Neon Squad's here! We found an abandoned biodome. Clearly some kind of grand science experiment. There's also a lot of material that's been discarded, including what seems to be research into a plant-based oxygen respirator. Can you fix it? It's not broken, just unfinished. Well, I suppose we could do more research into this oxygen mask. Uh, what are your abilities, guys? You've got... Not great overall lot of logic i think knowledge is the best way to go because evelyn davis is the best person on the team yeah we'll get started right away and be careful with the plants i don't trust them don't let the tr don't let the plants eat you oh boy if there are carnivorous plants on this we already had to deal with a plant that was that had like lips and it was spitting seeds at us I don't want to deal with that anymore. Look at all these people just like hanging out in the library. 254? Do we still have samples? No, we're all out of samples. Okay. How are the how is the patents coming along? Textile sources ready to rock and roll. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Neon Squad's back. They succeeded. Update from the biodome. We tried to work with the breathing mask, but it's not exactly exosuit, exosuit tech. Let's just say our results were limited. But we have learned that it was a self-sustaining respirator, perhaps to travel underwater or even into space. We could keep trying to finish the design. We do have a medic. Yeah, go for it. Understood, we'll get to work. I still don't trust the plants. <laughs> you know, just making sure they understand where I, I, I stand. We got another patent and queued up and then an energy source. We have an alien invasion coming in, so we should probably pause any further missions into the gate. Let's hold this mission and then hold this mission as well. And I wanted to move the panic zone. Because right now they're 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 congregating in the they're congregating in the training room. Let's move them into the library. They'll be ultra safe in the library. This is Smith. We've discovered intelligent life. A group of aliens living in the ruins of a city. They're quite standoffish and they don't look very happy to see us. What do the aliens look like? They're humanoid but inverted in that their heads are closer to the ground, almost like a short human doing a handstand. They're dressed in ragged clothing. Some are missing limbs. Do they pose a threat? No, I don't think so. They were keeping their distance and aren't carrying weapons. Looking around, I think they had an advanced level of technology before some disaster befell them. Can you communicate to them? Let's describe the city. Skeletal buildings are teetering at odd angles, like half-fallen dominoes. I think whatever happened here, it happened a long time ago. There's a shelter at ground level, but I don't think it's much, a, much of a... There is shelter at ground level, but I don't think it's much of a life. It looks like it's snowing there as well. Let's cut to the chase. Can you communicate with them? They're vocalizing in a series of click, quick clicks and occasionally gesturing with their arms or perhaps those are their legs. Either way, we won't be able to communicate without further analysis. This team doesn't have a scientist. Amazing. Uh, study their language and try to establish relations. We'll set up a camp and see what we can learn. Give us a few days, I reckon. Angel food cake out. Good luck. Good luck to you guys. Oh, hey, we did it. Now we have to get the thing that I was talking about. Neon Squad's back. Oh, they failed. Rats. That took us longer than expected. Not because of 
not because of killer plants, Exo. We couldn't complete the mask, unfortunately, but we do know how it worked. Plants were burned inside, releasing carbon dioxide, bi carbon dioxide, which these aliens breathe. Although it's unclear what happened to them, they're, were they running out of air? The atmosphere is now rich in oxygen. An environmental disaster. This artifact is their legacy. Neat. Medic. Once it's inside our display cabinet, it will be like it's back home inside its old, its biodome. A fitting tribute. Come home, team. Neat. How many things do we got right now? We got a helmet, and we got this funny-looking pickaxe thing. So we'll soon have another... Some more maglum. Great. How's our... We don't have any storage of maglum yet. We've got a... Go ahead and put taco cheese on hold as well. Until the incoming invasion finishes. And then these two teams should be back too. So we'll have like a full contingent of soldiers. It's going to go go crazy up in here. <laughs> in fact, I think I have nine soldiers. Good job, guys. Wow, a 98 specimen. Fantastic news. Holy crap. There's so many things happening all at once. This is Angel Food Cake on ZL347. We've been studying the aliens living in the ruined city. How's it going? We've got a basic handle on their language, Exo. Those clicking sounds are their core vocab and grammar, which are modified by the signs made with their limbs. Thankfully, our vocal cords and arms and legs can approximate at least some of it. They even modify words on the fly for those that have lost limbs, so they still have full freedom of expression. That's why we can even say anything that they remotely understand. Good work. Did you learn anything else? One of them offered us a gift. I think they enjoyed our company, even though they kept us at arm's length. It's not a gift we can keep, though. It's a hardened mud tablet with ancestral writings about their species carved into it. They're happy for us to use what we know of their language and to read it, though. They'll even help us. I think refusing might offend them. Uh... Yeah, let's get comfy and read it. That's what you're here for. Consider it done. Oh, okay, there's a lot to unpack here, Exo, about their history and society. A lot of it also doesn't make much sense out of context. We need to spend more time with them, which could be a problem given how careful they are not to make physical contact with us or each other. Maybe they have, like, some sort of disease that they don't want us to catch. Uh, can we offer them something? Good idea. Any ideas? Give them some medical supplies. Looks like they need it. Health decreased. <laughs> I, that's weird that her health went down when she gave them some some kits. It's like she emptied some of her blood onto the ground. <laughs> Done, XO. I emptied one of our med kits. But I think that offended them. I suppose they've lived this way for a long time. Not to mention our different f physiologies. Oh, well. It was worth a try. This is a promising start, XO. I think in time we come to learn more about these people, like why they keep a distance from one another. Understood. But now it's time to come home. Good job, guys. Well done. Meet non-hostile aliens. So then we need to get our hands on the data thing so we can we can uh, gain a, a data pack. Because if we send them back, they're not going to learn anything. That's a sa that's not a safe zone. That is far from safe. All right, I was trying to build another another shield thing. We don't have enough power. I understand. Actually. Before we do that, let's uh, well, we want to stay, we want to stay hooked up to them. So maybe we disconnect from this one because that one's all finished. And probably this one as well. And that one. Actually, we could disconnect this whole spoke for now. Just to get some power back so we can start um, swapping over even more generators here. Every time the Scarb get in anyway, they keep destroying my generators. So I have to... <laughs> I have to plan accordingly. Alright. Two more. Get those little robots in there. Got three days till invasion. Front dragon should be coming back very shortly. He got injured in the process. Yao? Yao just likes to be in the hospital, I think. Alright. Well, in that case, we don't actually need the extra shielded thing. I'll just swap out Yao. Wherever he's assigned. Right here. Uh, so instead, it's Fernanda Fernandez. You're up. Everybody take your positions. I just realized the security blast door to the med bay was locked. 
Are the soldiers all in position? I feel like we're missing some soldiers. Everybody to your your location. All right, we can lock this door now. Lock it up. Go, Fernanda. You're you're not in position. You need a shield. <laughs> the quarterly report has rolled in while we're being invaded. Fire! Fire at will! What is happening with this door? Right, one of them got in. We're still fighting them. The combat is difficult to see how it's going. Alright, we got one of them. Or two... Oh, jeez! Three of them got in? Holy moly. Now, the, this is the thing that's really confusing. If I tell them to go here... And then I dismiss them. Will they go? Oh, there they go. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Is you need to designate the combat zone, dismiss them from their guard locations, and then they will move to the spot. Oh, you got one of my bigger generators, you dickhead. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, once again, combat zone. Get down there. Aha! All right. Well, you did me a favor. You got rid of the one generator I didn't want. Not that I didn't want it. You know what? I almost think it would be a good idea to get some more soldiers and build a... Or, or have a like a designated combat zone around this thing. Also, what might be interesting is if we widen out the power room and put turrets in the power room. <laughs> That'd be kind of dope. All right. Open the doors so people can come and go. The soldiers have all been shot a, a bit. So they'll need uh they'll need recovery time. Oh yes, now it's time to do alien culture. We also have access to plasma launcher or railgun. Hmm. What's better? What does this do? Large area. Oh, so it's like AOE. I feel like railgun would be better, because I don't know if they really clump together all that much. Or maybe they do. I felt like they kind of spread out. New rare patent theory topic. We're going to be behind on patents forever because Julie Moreau is like perpetually behind on writing the patents. Although, isn't she on a team? Is Julie Moreau on a team? She sure is. She's on, on Galaxy Trio. But she's got mental health problems. So maybe we don't send Galaxy Trio anywhere right now. All right, so we got this guy still. Let's disconnect from you. There's another alien planet out there. Let's go here and see who is capable. Front Dragon would be acceptable. And Yao is actually f healed up. So Front Dragon it is. And then we can unpause all of our recurring teams. So they get out there and do their thing. When they're ready, of course. Let's go ahead and expand the work bay. Make that even bigger. How's our money doing? Yeah, we're back above 240. That's great. Research has got a long way to go. There goes taco cheese. It might be good to start looking at who's on our recurring teams, too. Because you're 443. Um, Funk Force 5 is 633. So it might be a good idea to, like, rotate out one of our, our soldiers at some point. And then Neon Squad is a bunch of rookies. What was our other one? Taco Cheese is 443. What was the other one? Oh, it was Burger Bravo. 223. Okay, so they're all pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty fresh as well. So we're looking out here. Three and three and five is is doable. I don't think Neon Squad has an engineer on it. D certainly doesn't. Is there a team I could steal an engineer from? I could steal Jacob Carter. And actually, I think I might, because. Evelyn is already pretty high, so why don't we throw Jacob on that team? 
And you go there, and then we'll create a mission here. And that can be milkshakes. It's not contain all the Oh, I need an engineer for that one. Cause it's a it's a a mining thing. Oh no wonder there's two engineers on this team. <laughs> well maybe when Taco Cheese gets back we can still steal Guillerme from that team. And then uh we can make progress that way. What are we doing? 925, okay. And this is a six though. It's a scary mission. That might be need to be a milkshake team. Or a front dragon, but we assigned it to milkshake. Six teams going on right now. Research is progressing. We're doing good. I, I think I, it'll be interesting to see. We've we've been dealing with just the basic units right now. But it'll be interesting to see if we progress to... Like, scarier units. I also want to add some security doors in here. Because I think it makes more sense to have them burn through even more of them. At the very least, they'll have to burn through med bay. Or the science bay. And in fact, I should probably swap this out with a security door as well. To make it be at least... Wow, look at it. What it I don't know what it was doing right there. So that means they have to burn through at least one, two, three, four doors to get in here. They, if they wanted to go all the way around, they could do one, two, two. So one door, second door, and then a third door. But then they'd have to move through my soldiers, and I don't know if they're capable of doing that. Come in, XO. It's Chevalier here. We found a piece of metal wreckage in the desert, half submerged in the sand. No clue what it's from, though. A crash ship? Maybe, but I can't see any more wreckage in any direction, unless the ship sank beneath the sand. Wait, there is something. Dark patches on the ground. They form a sort of grid pattern, extending away from us. Oh, I remember this one. It's not a complete grid, though. There are some gaps. Foundations of a building, maybe? The layout is certainly logical enough for that, like a series of city blocks, but there's nothing else here. Any ideas? I think we should dig in one of the gaps between the dark areas, but be careful about it. Something might be buried there. It doesn't feel right, though. Let me know what you find. I believe that's the one where they're in an alien minefield. Not to spoil anything for anybody, but I'm pretty sure it's an alien minefield. We're, we're about two-thirds of the way to the library research. We found a buried vault in the sand. Broke our backs lifting it out of the ten-foot hole we dug, but we've got it. It's locked like a giant safe. I think we should see what's inside. Uh, soldier body. You betcha. I carry C4, especially for occasions like this. Stand back, Neon Squad. Any luck? Bingo. Vault is history, and now it resembles what that fragment of scrap we found before. Several of them, in fact. I'm holding a small piece of material. It's not the only thing that was inside. The others tell me it's a new element. Highly volatile with fuel source potential. XO, I, I should feel like we fought... We should also point out that given the explosive nature of the resource and the layout of the grid pattern on the surface, I don't think this was a vault after all. It's a landmine. We're standing on the edge of an abandoned minefield. And we're lucky this one didn't and that the C4 didn't blow the whole place. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We'll make sure future teams are okay. So that must be the Exonium. In which case, we can start building our exosuits soonish. It'd be really nice to put the exosuit room right here, but in order to do so, we would have to to do bedrock laser drill. I don't know if that's just worth the investment when we could be doing other things with the science. It just seems like a lot. So maybe we hold off on that for a bit. Cause like what would I what would I do after this? I think the gun is gonna be the next thing that I research. Turrets are tempting. Training room, maybe. We could get the canopy bed as well, but we're doing okay from a space perspective. Third level generator is a nice idea. That one we don't even have aliens to recruit yet. Intensive care unit might be nice as well. And I've, yeah, we'd have to get access to the armory before we can even build exosuits. So maybe it's kind of like putting the cart before the horse to be... Gathering exonium and maglum <laughs> before we can use them, but I mean, we'll, we'll we won't regret it. Like we can always use it later. 
How's the patent writing coming? Okay, we're down to just two on the queue now. So that's not too bad. Still have teams going in and out of the gate. Front Dragon, Milkshake. So Neon Squad was the one that just came back. Got some more alien, alien planets. This one's a six. That one's a seven. Seven, three, six, seven. We're getting into more difficult missions is the thing. So it will, we'll have to be a little careful with where we send people. That one's just a one. Oh, but it does require an exosuit. That one's a six as well. Do we have anybody who could do a six mission right now? Like, that team's pretty good, but they're missing people. What if I threw Evelyn Davis back on this team? Like, Julie Moreau's, like, mental health is garbage. Maybe if I take her... Well, not take her off the team. What if I swap her out of patent writing? Maybe that's what's, like, taken its toll on her. She's like, I've been writing papers for years. <laughs> I need a break. Uh, let's put Lauren Adams on, on writing patents for now. Swap them out. Yeah, Julie, Julie, get, yeah, get, talk to the doctor. What, what's going on here? Tell me about your problems. Type D, type, type. Scarlet Adams is going to diagnose Julie with depression. <laughs> what you have here is a classic case of being depressed. I've got the stabby pill just for that. Chunk right in the thigh. At least it's not in her heart this time. Oh, okay. She just gets more and more injections until she feels better. 111 from one specimen is wild. And we're not quite done with the research yet, but close. And then, honestly, once Julie's better, we could we could eat them at the next uh, the next mission. She might be our highest scientist. She need maybe that's why she was having such bad mental health. Is she needs like she has social needs, but she's just been writing patents nonstop. A little bit injured. Yao Yao again. I have to imagine Yao is just like. He's the guy who's, like, parkouring all over the place, or, like, pretending he can parkour. And everybody's just kind of humoring him. That's the only thing I can think of, is that he's just, like, putting himself in harm's way constantly. More samples, great news. Can always use more science. Might as well dig out more of the energy room. Julie's still getting more injections. Is that what's going on? Ivy has taken over the... the uh... Hey, she's all better now. She just needs to have a chat with somebody so her her social needs go up. Or down. Needs, needs would not go down, but her... Uh... They would be satisfied. Yao's got another paper cut. He's got a cough. <laughs> of all the things to have. Scarlet's gonna gonna take care of that though. She'll fix you right up. Yeah, don't worry. More samples? Our teams are going crazy. All right. So Lauren Adams or uh, uh, Julie Moreau has been treated. Her her mental health is going back down again. But before it goes too far down, send them back out on a mission. All right, Lauren Adams. She's she's putting in the work. I was going to say, whose job is it to be researching now? Apparently, Rajesh drew the short stick. He's got to he's gotta research new technology. Nope, he's got to remove biosample from containment. <laughs> I wonder how... It'd be nice if you could designate a specific person to do a specific task. But it seems like they just kind of swap in and out willy-nilly. Hey, XP up. Sample or uh, our our budget's doing just fine, and we've gone ahead and dug out even more energy room. Go ahead and queue that up. I was kind of toying because they do the the enemies like to burn through 
the wall to get at my generators. I've seen them do it a couple times now. I was toying with the idea of building out a thicker generator room wall, like two by. I still might do it, depending on like how this new door setup functions. I could be convinced. I would like to move you over here because I would like to change you into a super security door. So at least there's three doors out of here. If they don't decide to burrow through this one, and they might. I don't know how smart they are. We're being invaded? Excuse me? I didn't realize that. Hold mission. Pause. Pause. We're being invaded immediately. Everybody go to your designated spaces. Put put your combat zone here. In the case of breach, lock down the doors. Fernanda Fernandez, you are late to your 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 zone. And now we have to deal with like 80 80 scarbs as they come in through the door. There they come. Oh my god, they're smarter than I thought. They rushed right by my guys. Get them. Get them, team. Oh, they're going right through. Hold on. Are they all dead? They are all dead. Okay, uh, team, leave your, leave your zone. Get to the combat zone. Get them. Chase them down. They're, they're flying around in the in the, the, the science lab. Shoot them. Oh, God, Yao, what are you doing? <laughs> Yao, you man, you're, you're all over the place. All right, get them. They're zapping my generator. Don't let them do it. Oh, that one's, that one's toast. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I sold it before he could blow it up. <laughs> I don't know if that works. Oh, boy. I don't know if selling... If you sell a thing, do you get the full money back? Nope, you get half. But, technically half is better than being exploded. Maybe I've come up with an exploit here. If your generator is about to be ripped apart, you should you should sell it. Think about that. Alright, unlock all the blast doors. Everybody process all the alien corpses here. Everybody come on... This is just a panic in here. Everybody's... Everybody's running around. All right, let's take our teams off of pause. They'll they'll manage their own readiness. All right, cool. Well, let's pause there. Actually, before I forget, let's go ahead and queue up the plasma launcher. That would have been nice in the last the last mission. And then we'll get the railgun right after because we just got a bunch of additional alien corpses. So we'll be able to get both. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more... Uh, Exogate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel. Subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!